because I worked full time, I could only find two hours in each day because I was teaching. And then I went to work for my coach who had a health club. And I used to work 12 hours a day in the health club. So when I wasn't in work, I was out at the track or doing weight training to build my muscles so that I'd be strong. But nowadays they train for six or seven hours a day because there's a lot more money involved and people who are successful can earn a million just like that. I didn't earn money. I did it as a hobby and enjoyed it thoroughly. And I have no hesitation in saying it was better for me than earning money because that puts a lot more pressure on you. Yes, I did. I ate as much as I could, <laughs> which was wonderful. But at, at, I, at one stage in my career, I was a shop fitter. Do you know what a shop fitter is? Throwing the big ball. And my coach gave me a diet that was just unbelievable. I used to eat six eggs a day and drink three pints of milk a day and all sorts of food. And I hated it. Absolutely hated it. And when I stopped doing that, I lost the weight very quickly again. <laughs> which is quite mature, it's as old as most of your mummies and not many people keep going that long but I was lucky that I still enjoyed it and still had the opportunities and was still good enough to keep going mm -hmm. and I did, after I won this medal I went on to another Commonwealth Games in New Zealand and I was 35 by then and so you can be a veteran athlete at that age nowadays but I was still enjoying it but I knew that there were some 16 and 17 year olds who were coming up who were going to be better than me so it was the right time for me to stop. Because I had an older brother and everything he did I tried to do better <laughs> as you do and um, he used to, we used to run and jump and, and play cricket in the fields and I wasn't very good at cricket and the headmaster encouraged me to start doing athletic events in school. I wish you every success when you go to what we used to call big school and some of you will be going to grammar schools and some comprehensive schools but it doesn't matter whichever school you go to, make the most of it. Go for it, life's wonderful.